I thought I'd make a question that kind of extends your sort of knowledge and application of Bourne Harbour cycles. So it's not the standard type of Bourne Harbour question where you've just got to calculate the um, lattice enthalpy. It's a bit different to that. So the link to the question is in the description of the video. So if you wanted to have a go, just click on the link and then play the video for the answer. Okay, so here we go then. So um, first thing I'm going to do is construct um, a Bourne Harbour cycle essentially uh, using the information in the table. Identify the species present at each level including state symbol. And then obviously we've got to do a calculation from that to calculate the electron affinity of chlorine. Okay, so there's my cycle. So I'll just talk through how I did it and sort of some things to watch out for. So I started here at the elements, so calcium solid chlorine gas just make sure that your state symbols can be sort of deciphered so solid definitely looks like an s gas definitely looks like a g mark schemes do say that if they are if they are indecipherable by the examiner you've got to mark they've got to mark them wrong so make sure nice and clear state symbols okay from my element i went down to calcium chloride solid that's the enthalpy change of formation down because it's exothermic and then because the solution was also exothermic I came down again to the aqueous ions so then the rest of the cycle is basically to go from elements all the way around and back to aqueous ions so the first thing I'm going to do is atomize the elements so I always do the metal first then the non-metal doesn't have to be that way around but I do it that way so atomize the calcium so you can see the only change is the calcium solids gone to calcium gas and then the next thing you do is atomize the um, chlorine, but that's going to produce two moles of gaseous chlorine atoms. So in the calculation, you would need to double that enthalpy change. So all the things highlighted in yellow are, in my opinion, the kind of things that students would potentially miss out and um, make a little mistake in the calculation. Okay, so once we've got the gaseous atoms, we ionize them. So we're going to do the first ionisation energy of calcium. That electron there is often missed off, so we'll be careful. The second ionisation energy, so we'll gain two electrons. We now need to ionise the, the chlorine. So that's the electron affinity, but we need to double that because there are two moles of chlorine in the cycle. So when we come to the calculation, the the sort of number we get for that, that step will be two times the electron affinity, so we'd have to halve it at the end. So you imagine in most of the Bourne Harbour cycles that you've drawn, you've then gone from gaseous ions to the solid lattice and you use that to calculate the lattice enthalpy. So this is slightly different because what we're going to do now is we're going to hydrate the two ions. So this stage here is the hydration of the calcium ion. So that's going to get us to calcium 2 plus aqueous. Two gaseous chloride ions remain. And then the final thing we're going to do is um, hydrate the two chloride ions. And again, that, because there's two moles there, we're going to double that enthalpy change. Okay, so that's the, um, that's the completed cycle. So we'll just talk about the calculation now to, to calculate this. And then I'll go through the numbers. So in terms of the calculation, we've got two routes going from elements to aqueous ions. So we can either go straight down or we can go around the long way. Hess's law says that the sum of the enthalpy changes in each route will be the same because they start and finish at the same place. So if I just highlight the two routes in two different colours. So what we're going to do is we're going to add those two together. And then we're going to, I normally put all the numbered ones in a bracket. And obviously that's going to be outside the bracket because I don't know what that value. And then I'll just solve for that. But remember, we're going to half it at the end. So there's the numbers in there. So we'll just work out um, what each side equals. So this is minus 876. The big bracket is minus 180. And then obviously we've got that plus 2 electron affinities. So then we need to get the electron affinity by by itself. So minus 876, that minus 180 becomes plus when it goes on the other side. Plus 180 is 2Ea. So 2Ea equals 
minus 696. So EA is minus 696 over 2, which is minus 348. Obviously, that's kilojoules per mole. Okay, so moving on to the last part of the question. It says we can use the cycle to calculate a value for the lattice enthalpy for calcium chloride. So you'll notice I've written up the equation there that represents that process. So the lattice enthalpy is the enthalpy change when one mole of a solid ionic lattice is formed from its gaseous ions. So you can see there's a way of doing that or getting from gaseous ions to the solid lattice on this cycle. Two ways to do it, you can go round this way, or you can go that way. I'm going to go this way because it involves less work, I suppose. So in terms of the root, you've basically got that enthalpy change there, plus that enthalpy change there. But when we go this way, this arrow here is going in the wrong direction because our root goes from aqueous ions to the solid lattice whereas this enthalpy change corresponds to the solid lattice going to aqueous ions. So what we're going to do is add that to that but then subtract that one. So we'll just run through the numbers now. So the lattice enthalpy is equal to this enthalpy change here minus 1579 plus this one here so that's 2 times minus 378 so that is plus minus 756 and then minus that one. So it's minus minus 81. So the final answer was minus 2254 kilojoules per mole.